everybody, Tokyo Man here, and I'm on my way to pick up some burritos. Yeah, just need to get out. Got my bike back uh, the other day from uh, them fixing the oil leak. And uh, just want to take her out and pick up some lunch for me and my wife. And I've been craving uh, burritos uh, for a while, so I thought uh, there's a chance go get some burritos so uh, places not too far from where I work and uh, probably one of the best burritos you can have in town it's called frijoles so if you guys are uh, in Tokyo and uh, you crave a burrito um, it's a pretty good place Yeah, and uh, now it's getting pretty warm. Pretty warm, actually, uh, and humid. So hopefully that will have an impact on the virus and uh, have the number of cases uh, decrease. Um, I don't really believe any of uh, the numbers the media is releasing, but like uh, yesterday. Uh, uh, the daily uh, number of uh, confirmed cases uh, for yesterday was 15 only, so that's a pretty good um, decrease, at least on paper, but again, out of how many tested, you know, we don't know, but for the last few weeks it's been uh, hovering around 100 and 150 mark. So going down to 15 cases, uh, it might be a slight, um, you know, sliver of a hope. So we'll see. So uh, this year, you know, if if what they say is true and the the virus doesn't live well in uh, hot and humid uh, temperatures, so uh, I'll be all for a crazy hot, humid summer this year usually really hate it but that's what it takes and uh, yeah bring it on I guess yeah. it's a badminton birdie on the ground there what's that doing on the road so anyways, uh, enough talk about virus and shit. I know I'm flooding my videos with it, but it's just to bring updates, but you know, it's all over the news and it's non-stop and uh, it does get tiring, it does. We can't, you know, avoid it or pretend it's not there. I mean, I don't mean that, but it may be refreshing to talk about something else. You guys can, uh, you can see for yourself uh, around here. It looks you know, fairly normal. I mean, uh, it's not as busy as it should be, but it's still sort of buzzing. Good thing, bad thing, I don't know. But majority of people are uh, pretty responsible and uh, all wearing masks and stuff. So I think that probably has an impact. Uh, I brought my mask in today, so when I take the helmet off and um, go order the burritos, then uh, I wear the mask inside the restaurant. Uh, a lot of shops around here also um, uh, require the wear of the mask uh, before getting in the, in their stores. So for now, you know, you can't argue with that. It kind of makes sense. 
just want to get over this shit and have things be uh, sorted back to normal as soon as possible. That's what we want. That's the idea. Approaching Gotanda. It's close to lunchtime, so uh, we'll see how busy it is. Yes, there is people, but nothing like it should be as usual. And most of people wearing masks, even outside. I usually wear the masks. Like uh, inside a store or whatever, you know. Gotta go uh, grocery shopping, stuff like that. Just walking on the street, you know, in the open air and stuff. I don't, but uh, a lot of people do, and uh, I guess that's, that's also a pretty good thing. Sometimes around here, the social distancing is kind of not possible, especially if you're on a train or something. day for riding though it's hot but not crazy hot and it's not like uh, sunny where the sun's beating down on you especially I have a black jacket uh, that kind of hurts when it's really sunny out oh, this this is enjoyable a little bit windy but on this big heavy bike doesn't make too much of a difference bike's running good uh, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, as I mentioned before I'm gonna put new tires on so I'm waiting uh, for Harley Davidson to uh, give me a quote on that and uh, they have to order tires in and stuff so maybe uh, within this month uh, new tires should be on the bike and after that uh, I think she'll be pretty much ready for uh, sort of long-distance cruising I really want to take her out of town uh, at the moment, uh, of course, with the virus and stuff, um, you know, Tokyo people are not very welcome anywhere else in Japan. Uh, it's been on the news that, like, in the countryside, uh, Nagano or, you know, so, stuff like that, uh, residents will see a car with a Tokyo license plate on it and they'll vandalize it. So, it's not cool. But uh, basically, uh, we are not welcome anywhere at the moment. So it kind of makes sense. But to go and break someone's car, uh, that's, that's kind of retarded. I'm sure whoever got their car vandalized by those idiot residents uh, are not going to ever go back there to spend their money, I guess. You know, when things were open up. Yeah, they gotta be begging for now the Tokyo people to come and visit, but with that kind of attitude, might not happen or a lot less. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and I have to go work on Thursday, uh, one day. So uh, where we're working right now, we're kind of doing some takeout business as well which uh, is doing fairly well and the way they set things up it's actually pretty safe <clears throat> so I don't mind doing that at all and kind of miss going to work anyways so no complaints on that I know you can see some work friends and stuff Uh, 
Yeah, this whole pandemic thing is really starting to drag. Not gonna lie. And uh, also coming up soon, I should have time to do a uh, walk around uh, of the bike. Uh, I haven't done any official unveil yet, but uh, you've seen my new Harley plenty of times in my videos already. So um, yeah, I'll do an unveil, an un unveil at the walk around soon and show you guys uh, properly um, what I've done. And how the bike used to be uh, when I picked it up so I'm looking forward to making that video so please wait for that one and also um, yeah please uh, like and subscribe to my channel uh, try to post more often and try to you know um, increase the quality of my content and uh, the editing and stuff like that so I hope you guys are noticing a difference um, there's only so much I can do with the uh, iMovie app it's what I use right now on my MacBook uh, to edit my videos so because it's a free app it's not like Final Cut Pro or anything uh, I don't have the money to spend 400 bucks on uh, the proper uh, movie editing software but uh, the iMovie does a fair bit and I'm fairly happy with what I'm doing uh, with that app so I hope you don't mind for the moment and uh, if when my channel really takes off and um, gets monetized then maybe I'll be able to afford the, the better uh, editing software and uh, maybe more camera equipment and stuff like that but for now it is what it is remember I'm not going to work <laughs> so uh, to change the lane there quick Let's do a little bit of splitting here. There's always a lot of cops around here because uh, there's a lot of embassies around here and the, the big one is the Russian embassy so they always need uh, constant extra protection because there's still some sort of conflict going on uh, between Russia and Japan over uh, some sort of island that uh, Russia stole from Japan during World War II. So anyways. So this is a fancy schmancy area of Tokyo. So where rich people hang out and uh, tons of foreigners. So kind of a perfect spot for a uh, burrito place and we're here so thanks for watching guys and we'll talk to you later <laughs>